Hello, today we are going to try to fix this Polish vintage double purpose light fixture. We are going to replace the battery and I'm also going to show you how to hook it up and how to operate it because this is a double purpose so it's got a lot of wiring and it's got also a great feature that is extremely useful today. As you can see, I already opened this unit and that's because I was looking for type of our battery because it didn't charge straight after plugging it in. I read like a 12 volts around the outer terminals and it's absolutely do not accepting any charge. We've got a 3.6 volts. We've got three cells in series in the R14 size. Spot welder is ready. I selected a couple of the battery tabs and we are going to be using them for creating our connections. I'm going to be starting with the negative terminal and I'm just going to nicely weld them together. So we apply pressure and we create our weld. And I'm going to repeat it a couple times. And as you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. You can do a pull test. I always doing a pull test with like a metal pliers each time that I change the size. But here I've got a known size, so I've got settings for that. And I'm not touching it, so that's why I'm always sure that I'm going to get exactly the same great results. And here we are going to weld the positive one. I will repeat the process. As you can see, desk is clean and we can start from unsoldering the old battery wires. Just like that. And now we can reattach them just like that. We are going to make it absolutely beautiful and absolutely professional way. Here is our negative. Just like that. And our positive one. Go like this. And you will be able to judge, does it look professional? Go like this. And tell me, how does it look? We are going to apply some Captain tape on those two ends. I added a little bit of Captain tape, so we've got a protection and of course do not be afraid I'm not going to leave it as is we are going to add a nice proper heat shrink tubing so we are going to put our sleeve over our battery pack and let me start warming up our hot air we go like this and the top. Now it's smaller than the opening and we can nicely go and shrink it. This is our final product. We've got our beautiful battery pack. And it's looking absolutely great. And before we plug it in to our lamp, let's check the polarity. So we've got the negative and the positive. And we've got 3 volt, which is absolutely fine for a storage. We've got a good fit. Yes, we've got. Length of wire is correct. Let's go and grab it like this.
they had it like this and maybe we also grab that wire so it's not going to be touching maybe that's going to be smart move yes that looks fine to me no one is going to be shaking and it looks like this and we are done we've got a green light device is fixed but of course it's not being lit up so let's take a look how does it operate to understand how this device is working let's take a look and see the key components on top we've got those two elements that are used for a regular normal light mode because it is a double purpose light fixture and that's mean it can be used every day as regular light with a dedicated switch for turning it on and off those two elements the starter and the inductor are going to be running this tube that looks like a CFL but this is just a regular tube there is no electronics and those two elements are going to be driving that in the normal mode of operation on bottom part we've got electronic ballast with integrated charger so when we are going to have AC this device is going to be charging our battery when the AC will not be present on the emergency line then it's going to be inverting our battery into high voltage and running that tube now I'm going to present you how to wire up that enclosure as you can see we've got a lot of terminal blocks and it is pretty scary pretty intimidating but we are going to go one by one so you are going to get full idea how to operate this unit as you can see it's not being lit up we connect our battery we know the battery is charged so it should be started but it didn't start and I'm not being worried about so now I'm going to tell you why let's imagine there is middle of the day and the blackout is happening the circuit breaker trip there is a power outage and your emergency light fixture kicks in like the law is saying but since it is a day you really don't need it and you would like to save it for later so that beautiful enclosure give you those two contacts called a and B and they give you ability to control this light whether it's going to be on or off in case of the emergency it is extremely important to make those two contacts shorted in order to activate your light but you can dedicate it a separated switch that will allow you to turn it off when you don't need it and just wait until dark and then re-enable it but it should be constantly on so the lamp is going to trip as the emergency so we are going to be wiring those two pins together the a and b we've got our a and b joined together so the lamp should be on but it's not maybe the battery no, is not being charged enough then we've got our neutral that we are going to connect to our ac and then we've got our life this life is going to be provided constantly to our light fixture to recharge the battery and to sense when there will be power outage this life should be constantly on in compare to the L1 which is our another life but that one is going to be for our normal mode of operation 
and it can be controlled on or off. But this have to be present all the time. That can be switched by the switch and it's not going to be triggering the emergency mode. So let's try to wire it. Here is our life that is going to be present all the time unless there will be emergency and it's going to be not broken by any switch. The only situation where there will be no AC on that terminal is when there will be a real power outage. So let me power on my setup. Keep in mind that we've got a 230 volt AC, so it's going to be a pretty dangerous. We are supplying the circuit with AC voltage. If we take a look over there, you can take a look at the LED that is going to telling us the emergency light fixture is being powered on and that is recharging. We are going to grab my clamp meter and we are going to take a look do we've got a charging current i will go to the lowest range i will reset the dc and we are going to try to clamp it on one of those two wires so let's see we have to zero it and let's see and yes indeed we've got a charging current that is pretty close to the one we see on the battery terminal on the battery enclosure and that's going to be totally fine this is our charging current for cooking the nickel cadmium battery in case we lose our ac power then the light fixture should automatically turn on and here we can make that happening i'm going to unplug the ac and it turned on for a second and then it turned off and that's because the battery is not being fully charged in that mode of operation you could use those two terminals and you can short them they are being called test and they are going to be forcing out enabling the inverter and powering the tube to run the test you have to be make sure the light is not being on and power from the ac you go like this and you join them together and we go into the emergency mode of operation and it turns itself off and that's because the battery is not fully charged then we've got our another terminal which is a protective earth and we are not going to be connecting it on my desk and that's because i'm using isolation transformer and then we've got the l1 for our normal controlled by regular switch on off and i'm going to connect it and i make connection and this is our life that is going to be switching switch it on and off and it's going to be using those two components and i'm going to grab our life and join it together and as you can see the light fixture just kicks in if i make a disconnect over here the light go out but it is being charged and if there will be a power outage then it turn itself on we go like this i would like to enable it we join it like that and it's working absolutely beautiful so we've got absolutely beautiful fix just let's take a look how does it present after adding the cover it's presenting absolutely beautiful i just love it so as you were able to see we make a absolutely beautiful fix and we've got a great beautiful 
double purpose enclosure. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.